Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial I wanted to show you how to do a Dutch braid as well as a French braid with extensions in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is section off your hair so you can put in your clip-in extensions. And I'm only going to be using the two-piece clip-in extensions for this. So I will be using five pieces in total and basically what I'm doing is stacking them all the way up my head and keeping it right in the center. I know it looks ridiculous like this, but it's so much easier to braid when you have them all in the center rather than the longer pieces out around your ears or on the side of your head. And I also want to apologize for how awful my roots are. I definitely need to get my hair done sometime soon. So once my hair extensions are all stacked up along the center of my head, I'm going to start on the Dutch braid. So when you do a Dutch braid, you're going to separate your hair into three equal pieces. Piece number one, piece number two in the center, and then piece number three. So you're going to take piece number one and put it under piece number two. And then you're going to do the same thing taking piece number three and putting it under piece number one. So basically you're just taking the outside pieces and bringing them into the center. And then to make it a Dutch braid, you're going to be adding hair from either side as you go down. So with a Dutch braid, you're always crossing the pieces underneath each other. And for this style, don't worry if you can see the extensions right now because we're going to fix that at the end. So the reason why I'm using the two-piece hair extensions is because they line up in the center of your head at the back and it's so much easier to grab hair from the sides and pull it into the braid. If you don't have enough two-clip hair extensions, then you can always stack the one-clip hair extensions as well. So once you finish pulling in hair from either side, you're going to continue down with a regular braid and then I always go through and pull out my braid just to make it look a little bit thicker in the end. And then the last step for this Dutch braid is just to hide your extensions if they're showing at all. So just go through with your fingers and smooth out your hair and make sure everything's covered up nicely and then bobby pin anything down that's sticking out. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do a French braid with the extensions in. So I've just left them the same as with the Dutch braid, just stacked up the center of my head using the two-piece clips. So to do a French braid, you're going to section your hair into three pieces as well. The difference is you're going to be crossing the pieces over top rather than underneath. I find a French braid can be a little bit trickier on myself just because you have to let the hair drop in order to grab another one and there's nothing there holding it up like the Dutch braid. So I'm just taking the outside pieces of hair and crossing them over top the center piece of hair and repeating this process the entire way down. And once I'm finished, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the Dutch braid and I'm just going to pull it apart and make sure none of my extensions are showing. So that is it for my tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new and how to use extensions while you're doing a French or a Dutch braid. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again next time.